Hello everyone, my name is Minisethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about identification problem in econometrics. Identification problem arises when parameters of model cannot be uniquely estimated due to insufficient information from available data. Identification problem arises when parameters of model cannot be uniquely estimated due to insufficient information from available data. This is a dependent variable, this is independent variable, error term, alpha and beta are our parameter. In order to uniquely estimate value of these parameter, we need uh, some information. But when information is not available, then identification problem arises. So we can say that identification problem arises when parameter of model cannot be uniquely estimated due to insufficient information from available data. And this problem mainly occurs in case of simultaneously equation model. But why? Because in case of simultaneously equation model, multiple equations are interdependent on each other. That's why this problem mainly arises in case of a simultaneously equation model. Now we will see types of identification. Under identified, when we have insufficient information to uniquely estimate uh, all parameter of a model, it will be called under identified. When we have insufficient information to uniquely estimate all parameter of model, it will be called under identified. For example, you are trying to solve a puzzle, but so many pieces are missing exactly identified there is exactly enough information to uniquely estimate uh, parameter of uh, model uh, for example you have just right number of pieces to solve a particular puzzle over identify over identify means when more than necessary information is available because surplus information can create conflict uh, confusion for example you have so many extra pieces to solve a puzzle now you are confused which one you should choose or which one you should not uh, choose now is a solution of identification problem there are mainly two solution, rank condition and order condition. If these two conditions are satisfied, that means our model is identified. Rank condition is necessary and sufficient. If rank condition satisfied, that means equation is guaranteed to be identified. If rank condition is not satisfied, then obviously equation is not identified. On the other hand, order condition is necessary but not sufficient. If order condition fails, then guarantee our model is under identified. But satisfying order condition doesn't guarantee equation is identified or model is identified. In today's video, we will see order condition in detail. We will also see problem with example. As we know, order condition is necessary but not uh, sufficient. As we already discussed, type of uh, identification, exactly identified, over identified and under uh, identified. Order condition is applied in both, exact identified and over identified, but it doesn't apply in case of under identified because under uh, identification violate order condition. That's why if order condition fail, that means equation is guaranteed to be under identified and it cannot uniquely estimate values of uh, parameter. This is a standard uh, equation to represent uh, order condition. In this equation, G represent total number of equation in model. That means how many total number of equations are included in a model is represented by G. And G will always equal to endogenous variable. Endogenous variable means dependent variable. K represent total number of variable in model. As we know, mainly two types of variable are in model, endogenous and exogenous. Exogenous means independent variable, endogenous means dependent variable. And K represent total number of variable in model. M represent number of variable included in particular equation. Particular equation means which equation, which particular equation we are going to identify. There are so many equations now, but which particular equation we are going to identify. M represent number of variable included in particular equation which we are going to identify. 
when we minus m from k it will become equal to excluded variable so this part shows excluded variable and this part shows the total of total number of equations minus 1 when k minus m is equal to g minus 1 it will become equal to just identified or we can say the exact identified we have already discussed about just identified over identified and under identified when k minus 1 is equal to g minus 1 that means our equation is just identified if k minus 1 is more than g minus 1 that means our equation is over identified if k minus 1 is less than g minus 1 that means our equation is under identified now we will solve one question this is our given question and we find uh, order condition of identification for equation 1 we have to find order condition of identification for equation 1 as we know y1 y2 and y3 are our endogenous variable or we can say the dependent variable y2 x1 x2 y3 x3 y1 y2 x3 are independent variable don't be confused u1 u2 and u3 are not our variable these are our error term as we know very well we have already discussed about this so u1 u2 and u3 are not variable these are just error term now we will solve our question first of all we will find out the value of g g means the total number of equation in model so here you can see we have total three three equation in model one two three as we earlier discussed number of equation will always equal to endogenous variable endogenous variable means dependent variable so here we have three endogenous variable y1 y2 and y3 and we have three equation so we can say that g will always equal to endogenous variable so value of g is equal to 3 because we have total three equation here now we will find out k k means total number of variable in model now we will count total number of variable in model 1 2 3 4 uh, y2 we have already count uh, 5 6 already count already count already count already count so we have total number of 6 variable now we will find out value of m m means the total number of variable in particular equation particular equation means which particular equation we are going to identify we have to find order condition of identification for equation 1 so our particular equation is 1 now we will see total number of variable in equation 1 1 2 3 4 so in equation 1 we have total of 4 variable we have all this value just put in this equation k equal to 6 m equal to 4 and uh, g equal to 3 and uh, 1 now we will solve this so here you can see k minus 1 is equal to g minus 1 as we already discussed when k minus 1 is equal to g minus 1 that means our equation is exactly identified so we can say that our equation uh, first is exactly identified exactly identify equation means we have enough information in order to uniquely estimate value of parameters so this is all about order condition in next video we will talk about rank condition i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care